Here we're going to look at creating clips from each of these resources. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Open University video and it'll start playing. And you'll notice it's picked up the metadata for that. Now I've got to just roll it forwards a little bit. You notice it picks the time up. Now I'm going to make a clip here. Now to do that I'm going to have to go back up here to create edit clips to make the clip tools available. Which appears here and that clip button there. Well, I'll make a clip. You see it comes up here in the clips column. And again here's the metadata for the clips, the properties. It's automatically given us uh, about five six second duration. I'll call this uh, Swansea, this clip. I'll type anything I like in here. Save changes and you'll notice the name of this clip changes to Swansea. Now if I play this clip it should just last for five or so seconds and end around this time here. There we go. And it rewinds to the start So that's making a clip from a progressive file that's been downloaded to my desktop. I'll go back to YouTube. See Daniel. I'll just roll that forward a little bit. Now I've got to make a new clip here. This is reference to the YouTube server. And here you see the new clip appears over here. I'm going to call this Daniel. Well, the description should go here. I will save changes. There we are. So that's creating a clip for each resource. If I go back to the Welsh video, you'll see its clip appears here. So if you go from left to right, we've got a kind of parent-child relationship going on. You'll see that here. You've got the master clip, the ma uh, sorry, the master resource, and then the the child. That's the child. So that's making clips. Next we're going to look at adding annotations to those clips.